Verse 21 says, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. And Paul's realization here, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I mean, after all the musing, after all the considerations, after he just took some time, as David did, to keep his mouth shut, to think about the things of God, and go to God and say, God, search me, try me, know me, reveal me to myself. He came to the conclusion that in him was no good thing, that he has a will that desires to do right, but he can't achieve it. He's always going to sin against God. He delights in the law after the inward man, but that other law, the law of sin and of death, is constantly tormenting his members, and he He's torn apart. He says, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? How shall I be released? Where is my blessed hope? Where is the glorious appearing when Christ shall come? And that's exactly the solution. Verse 25. I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. So that struggle is always present. And when we take enough time to think about it, when we're in a spiritual position where we're meditating upon God's word, where we've done something like make a covenant with one of our members that we wouldn't do a thing, do you know what that reveals to us? I mean, some people do these things where like, I'm going to wake up today and I'm just not going to sin. <laughs> and then like 20 minutes later, you're like, ah, I did it. <laughs> right? Even faster than that. Just, just, the, just saying I'm not going to sin is the thought of foolishness. You're done. <laughs> right? <clears throat> We take those times, and that's why I don't believe fasting is always just food. I think I think fasting could be try something like, oh, I'm 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 not going to drive my car this week, you know, something like that. Hey, we can fast from things that normally we're used to, and it will reveal spiritual things into us. You know why? Because we have all these things in this life that we become accustomed to, that we become used to, we start to rely on. But the one person that we should be relying on for all things is God. So limit yourself. Take some things out of your life coffee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, there's things that you can fast from that have nothing to do with just food. And if, if you take the time, as I believe David did, I will keep my mouth. I will muse on the things of God. He fasted from that for a moment in order to come to the realization that he needs God more than anything. His hope is in God. His hope is in Christ. He looks for the same blessed hope that the Apostle Paul did. He says, I know in my flesh dwells no good thing. I know that every man is altogether vanity, even in his best state. Wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this? Who shall free me from this problem that I have that is me? I'm the biggest problem that I have in my life. I thank God through Jesus Christ the Lord. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord because he is the one that is going to deliver me from the body of this death. This is our hope. And why is it our hope? Because Jesus Christ condemned sin in the flesh. That's how he was able to release us from sin in the flesh was that he condemned it when he took it out of the way and nailed it to the cross. 